Hi folks, Fusion 360. How do we carry over work from one setup into the next automatically? Let's walk through how we actually can do this. Welcome to the Fusion Friday. So let me just give you the answer first, and then we'll come back and dive a little deeper. How do we do this? Run a simulation, right click, stock, save stock, and I'm just gonna click save. If you're like me, you had tried this before and I gave up because you would try to then import this STL file back as a body infusion and it's not the right size, or it's not in the right location. That's not what you do. We've now switched over to the mill and I want a rest machining operation to recognize what was already done in a prior setup. Under geometry, we check rest machining. Here's the trick. Change the source to from file and Fusion is making it extra hard on us to figure this out because you can't actually click your typical Windows Explorer or pop-up menu. So I've got the location saved. It happens to be in my temp folder and the file is stock.stl. I think that's the default name. So you gotta kind of type that in or know where your file is located. Now click okay, take a look. That's what we get. And again, I'll duplicate this and we'll turn that off. And in this case, Fusion is going to see a significant more amount of material that it would have to cut, which is why the resulting 3D adaptive would both machine a lot of material above uh, these cutouts here, but also the whole internal diameter. This is what I want. Folks, this is awesome. So one of the immediate downsides is it's not quite as much of a closed looped process as I would like. If you make changes to your prior operations, you're going to have to go in simulate and right click stock save stock you also have to do that from a simulation at the end of that operation because it's WYSIWYG. whatever you see right here as stock is what's going to get saved as your stock so again what i like to do make sure you simulate from the setup and not from individual operations click simulate and click go to end of toolpath that will simulate through everything you also have to have the stock visible. If you don't have the stock visible and you go to choose save stock, nothing happens. Not as closed loop as I would like, but really it's not that bad, especially if you're in a production part where this is the sort of operation that can really save you a lot of time. If you're gonna make minor updates every now and then, not a big deal to simulate, go to the end, save your stock, and then just regenerate the next operation. Kind of funny to see it doesn't know that you've updated that file. So normally Fusion is very quick to tell you that an operation is out of date or needs regenerated. It doesn't do that here. So you've got to remember to do that yourself. But this is super awesome and super helpful and not just if you're moving between a lathe and a mill, especially with complex geometry where I really wish I could have carried through the stock from one operation into the next. This makes it possible and you know relatively seamless and you certainly don't have to go importing models and resizing them or relocating. That was the part that I found to be unacceptably frustrating. So this is cool. Big shout out to 1186 MFG. Link to his Instagram in the video description. He runs a pretty awesome machine shop, uh, I believe in the Midwest. He's got some pretty amazing machines, including some new DMG Moris. And he called me and said, I can't believe this has been sitting here this whole time because like me, he had tried doing the save stock and loading the STL file as a body and linking that in, 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 your, uh, in your operation, linking that as the stock machining from setup stock or linking it as the body in your setup above. And here it was uh, relatively easy compared to all that. So again, a big shout out to him. Be sure to check out uh, his Instagram page and some of the stuff that he does. Otherwise, folks, go make some chips. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. I, I, I would love to know, did anybody know about this? Um, it'd be kind of cool to see if somebody did know about it. On the flip side, um, I'd, I'd be a little upset because I think there's a lot of folks who didn't think Fusion could do this uh, as well as it does right now. And hopefully the folks at Autodesk will think about better closing that loop so this is an even more fluid process. Anyways, folks, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Take care. See you next Friday.